Hi, my name's John. Welcome to all of that Sunday night nightcap. I've got quite a mixed bag tonight. Some lathe work, bit of mill machine work, a cast and new lead hammer because the, the handle was very loose on the one I've been using. Anybody who's watched my channel for any length of time will know that I am supported by a company called Ortec who supply welding machines. On some of the top end welding machines, Ortec have been advertising a voucher for some welding instruction. So I was invited down to Lincoln for two days to see a lad called Bob at the machine shop in Bob's a lad that does the, the welding instruction. I took the wave down um, and he spent quite a lot of time with Deb and the results, I can assure you, absolutely stunned me. Amazing. He doesn't just do welding, it's like a shop that he rents a shop out, has layers, milling machines, metal full, has guillotines. I'm going to do a, a full length video a little bit later on about them, but I'll show one or two little bits and pieces of Deb Weldon. And seriously, I was very impressed. For a nice little straightforward turn job to do, well, they're all straightforward turn jobs to look where it tits up. Basically, it's a, a piece of metal that shape. It's to knock a core plug into a tractor, cylinder block. I've got the, that piece there, which I'll get that out of, and I've got a piece that I can make a handle out of. He's obviously making a handle and then this can be made in different sizes to drift in different size core plugs. All the sizes are there. That's 50mm bar and the major size is 31.5 so we'll definitely get it out of that. I'm not sure what sort of steel this is, what the, the blue colour code means. Chance of just male steel. job is to face the end square, that's normally the, the first job on most lathe jobs is to square the end up. Material machine very nicely. There's no pip left, so the tool is dead on centre height. We bring a down a down now. I think it's a 50 mil bar, and we need 31.5. In total length we need a little bit more and we'll put a, a bit for the parting tool to go into Chips are a lovely purple colour, that's all the, the heat coming off the job. Right, I've set the vernier at 31.5 and zeroed it, so now we need 0.3 of a mil off that. 
so we need to cut, we need to pull a point, one five, cut on there, that should bring it down to dead on size. So that's at zero. So if we zero this at zero, measure that 31.51, which is certainly good enough for knocking a core plug in. The next dimension is 29.5. We've just got a bit of a taper. It goes in for 8 mil. We'll put the 8mm shoulder on first. So it's 29.5 and then the taper. So once again, if I set the vernier, 29.5. And zero it. And we measure that. We need 1.07 mil off there. We need one mil off there. So we'll put a half mil cut on the wood. Right now the taper. Very much to it. Taking a very broad cut. All this is forced to give clearance for the inside of the cork plug because the cork plugs are slightly tapered. Next job is to drill the hole, part it off, and then make a handle for it. Right now we're folding it, we'll part it off. Just use the end of the wheel piece to make sure that the part and off tool is at 90 degrees to the job, which it is, and it's uh, centre height. It's going to work out fine.
I think that one is deep enough. I'm just going to put that drill back in there again just to make sure. Come on, you bastard. Now I think we're good to go. Right, so I've wasted very little material. To put this back in and just take that nasty raggy edge off. a nice piece of bar in for the handle. The 13 mil drills was the last thing we put through the little bit we've just made. Five mil ball. Just cut the end of the bar off where it's been used for something else. It's just a bit of a the bar in that came out of a skip, I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's certainly good enough for what I'm making here. Gonna do a little bit extra for them, being as well as a 
it is a tool. I'm going to put a little bit of a, a nail on it. Clamp type nail tool where it clamps to nails top and bottom. This is the poor sort of type that just pushes straight in. So, this is putting no load on the lathe headstock bearings and then driving it round and round. But the ones where the, the single roller ones put a colossal load on some headstock bearings. You can see the bar's not running through, it's running out a little bit, but it doesn't matter with it, this type of um, nail tool, it just floats around the outside. I think that's a nice grippy nail on there. We'll take the little sharp edge off. It looks like a special tool there, not just a, a piece of bar with the end machined. She's completed item. And obviously you want more ends making for different size applications. It's quite nice that. Huh? 